Hello, thank you for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for when you come to them. For the tarot, I'm using Wild Reflections Tarot by Y-Spell. I think I'm saying that right. Um, there's a couple things with it. There is this QR code, I think is what it's called, with some information on it. So feel free to freeze frame on that if you want that information. There's also the website on the back, yspell.com. So if you want to see that, you can freeze frame and get that information if you want. Yspell, I think, is down over here somewhere. Okay. For the Oracle cards, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms by Colette Baron reed um, I want to say the websites are here in the back. I'm pretty sure there's a Colette Baron reed website. I don't know if it's at the bottom of that, though. I thought I already had this out. There's the illustrator information there. If you want it, feel free to freeze frame and check out what you would like to see. And then clipbaronread.com. Yeah, it's in the back of the book. There we go. Hopefully that's focusing so you can see it. Okay. And I use dice as well. I use a 22-sided dice. I replaced 22 with, with 0 for the Major Arcana. And then I use um, a 14-sided dice for the Minor Arcana. And I use a 4-sided dice to choose the element of the Minor Arcana. Um, math, math art fun. Mathartfun.com. Hopefully you can see that one too. Through that bag, mathartfun.com. If you're interested, that's where those dice came from. Okay. With that being said, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email, James for Astral at gmail.com. James the number four Astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and let's get into your reading. Hello Capricorn, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Capricorn? Now I feel like that's... All right, other people going through their problems is other people going through their problems. I get the tower might be happening for people like outside the situation. Like it is showing up here, but it's like away from you. So other people might be going through the tower. Some people try to fear monger. It makes them feel better when they're going through the, t the tower. Kind of like I'm going through it now, but your time is coming. Be aware of that, because I don't see the tower hitting for you. I also see Capricorn making uh, moves to create safety measures, so that way, even if it did, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do that, if such thing happens. But I don't see the tower hitting for you, just so you know. Um, it's just like a side note to start this off. Because there's things going on here, and it's kind of like better left outside of the situation than in it. I don't know that that's the whole situation because I keep getting somebody's trying to fear monger you. Eight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles for you. You can't plan for everything. You can plan for most likely um, or this is how I view Capricorn. The ones that I've known, if possible, they save some extra money to the side, they make good decisions, but instead of worrying about every little possibility that could happen, they have like um, an umbrella like backup plan. Like I call it an umbrella backup plan. Like I'll, if I have to, you know, if something goes wrong, I have this money to help me make decisions. 
that type of thing, or I have this situation to help me make decisions, or I can lean back on this person if I need to, to help me make this, you know, give me time to make decisions. Like, a blanket, you know, safeguard. You'll do what you can with each situation, but somebody I keep feeling is trying to fearmonger you. And they keep coming at you with, like, sideways things, like, oh, did you know this happened? Oh, did you know that could happen? Oh, did you know this could happen? Look, it happened over here at this place. It happened to them. Look, look, it did. Somebody's really trying to get under your skin. Um, and I keep getting... This energy isn't matching for you because it's a page energy and it's kind of like... It's very loosely based in what's going on for you. A lot of information here, but it's got to be sifted through and it's got to be quantified to your situation and it's not really working. So... That might be the first piece of this. Yes, you are a good planner, but you can't let somebody fearmonger you. Once you realize it's happening, I feel like you can start deconstructing that. Um, somebody else is coming into this situation. It's kind of, I want to say it's a reckless energy. At least the way that you connect to it, it's a reckless energy. It's not your flavor. Um, so... Because I feel like there's going to be cross-watchers and they're going to argue that it's not reckless energy. In relation to Capricorn, this is a reckless energy. It doesn't seem to make sense. It moves quickly in the moment. It doesn't seem like it has the foundation behind it. I feel like to Capricorn, that is reckless. Now, other signs don't have to agree with that. But the base Capricorn energy, I feel like that's how you would look at it. Yeah, it lacks foundation. Lacks foundation and it doesn't give explanation. That's, the no that's another piece of this. It doesn't explain why it's making the decisions it is. It doesn't seem like it has foundation. It's almost like somebody new coming into the management team from a totally different company. And all of a sudden, they're making all these decisions. They're doing this. They're doing that. They're making this happen. They're making that happen. What you may not know is the plan that they're executing, current management already made, they've just decided this new person would pull it off because other people wouldn't push back against it or be able to or something like that. Like, this person might be kind of like a scapegoat. If it doesn't go well, it just, it's a, that person, it's going to look like it's that person's problem. If it does go well, well, I'll take credit for it. Uh, it might be one of those things. When this is happening, I don't feel like you have the ability to stop it. It's queen energy, right? Yeah, it's going to do what it wants to do. It's a leader energy. It's You're not going to be able to stop it. If you get in its way, it's going to create problems for you. Um, yes, Capricorn can hold their ground like nobody's business. But if this is a business situation, um, there can be a lot of detriment that happens from that. Okay, so there's advice at this point. There's advice. Stick to what you know. Just follow the rules as you need to. Stick to what you know. Follow the rules as you need to, as you're used to. This is a very tricky, like, it's one of the reasons I like this deck. It gives a very different version of some of the cards that I'm used to. This is the Two of Swords. Traditionally, the way I view the Two of Swords is it's a block card. There's no successful way to move forward. You'll notice with this one that somebody ready to fire an arrow, but they have, they have, they have this blindfold thing going on here, right? Which makes it very hard to hit a target, especially if it's moving. Um, even if it's not moving, it still makes it very difficult. Granted, you could use your ears to try to hear where it is and all other good stuff. You know, if you are that Jackie Chan hero, who knows, maybe you can. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Jackie Chan can do that, quite frankly. But I'm just saying, you know, a very high level of, uh, you know, talent. Very high level of ex execution. Um, the advice, this is kind of like an advice card. Like, this is... This isn't a good time to move forward. This is a better time to wait it out and just kind of flow with it the best you can. Stick with what you know. Work within the rules that are set before you and just make it work the best you can. Kind of flow through it. If you're able to do that, things will get better for you. You will have healing in this situation. Holding it together is a hard. It's hard at this time. Um, this isn't your flavor. You don't like how this is going. But I feel like whatever the situation is, you don't have a lot of control over it in a positive way. So working with it within reason, you know, within reason. That's the advice here. Within reason. Because I feel like, because I'm kind of like, 
I've probably said this if you've seen other Capricorn readings. There's a lot of Capricorns in my family. There's a lot of them. And there's one thing you don't do is you don't push a Capricorn because they will hold their ground like nobody's business and they can hold it longer than anybody I know. <laughs> um, maybe Taurus can keep up with that game, but that's the only other one that I can think of. Um, <laughs> that I can think of. I don't know. Um, but they're saying within reason, especially if this person or situation doesn't realize that you really don't like this, you can kind of make it work within boundaries within what you know you can make it work doesn't mean you're going to do it exactly the way they want to but if you stay out of the limelight you stay out of the spotlight and you know you stay out of the attention area like you know what i mean if there's 50 feet and 35 of those feet are like right in direct sunlight you stay out of the sunlight you know you stay out of somewhere in those that other 15 feet that's outside you stay in those 15 feet you can do what you need to do and nobody's going to bother you you know what I mean? That's that's the advice there. Because it's kind of like... I know this wasn't... I don't feel like that's easy. But, like, they're saying, you know how to work this. You can make this work to your advantage. You can do this. <sighs> okay. As it keeps going forward... Something changes. It starts to revert... I'm getting that it's going to revert. Yeah, it's going to revert. Queen of Swords. No, Queen of, Queen of Wands? Yeah, it is. Number one is Wands. Wands, Earth, Air, Fire. Yep, Wands. And the Tower reversed. So we're going to backtrack on some of this stuff. I don't know why this is happening. It's They're saying there's a bigger picture here. Bigger picture at play here. Keep that in mind. People play games, especially in corporate situations. Like, people play games. People play nasty games. Um, and I, I was told this at one time after I left this job, because I'm remembering this. Certain managers look like they're ineffective because they're told to be. And, I, and there's little games that they're playing trying to like create issues or problems with other people there it's kind of like sometimes you see the level of these games and you're just like wow if we could just be play respectfully i don't know it's just there's people play games people play games it doesn't matter if we like it because it's frustrating me just to think about it because the debauchery people get involved in and i'm just like what was the point like really what was the point are you that bored because i think some people do it just because they they just they like the drama and they're just amusing themselves at work so they create these ridiculous scenarios that and mental illness I really do think not like not as like a slam to anybody but I think that some people in those positions this is what happens due to mental illness I'm sorry but I really do not in a negative way but just like you know what I mean just like I think that's why some people do what they do um, they just don't have control of their own ridiculousness and they believe certain things are happening that aren't happening um, so they play these weird games Anyway, we're going to be backtracking. And it makes me nervous because I'm just like, earth signs, just earth signs in general don't, that is not going to be okay. And you were definitely an earth sign. You don't show up to waste your time. It's kind of like we're going to be backtracking. Okay, so this is, if this is coming to you in the right time, this is why we kind of gave like, work within the shadows, work within the boundaries, do what you need to do, stick with what you know. Don't put in too much effort. <laughs> don't. Don't exceed expectations. I have a feeling you won't anyway because you're not going to like this. And if you don't really like this and you don't really agree with it, I don't see you putting in 110% because you're like, I don't know if this is going to go anywhere. So if you can get away with putting in 60% effort, do that because they are we are going to backtrack a little bit. Um, and I got that because the Queen of Wands reversed coming in and the Tower reversed is kind of like, oh, this isn't going the right way. we got to go back and put it back the way it was. When that happens... When that happens, be careful. Because there's this weird feeling as if, oh, we're just going to go back to the way it was. Don't fall for that. You know better. You know better. Something's, something's not right. It's going to look like, oh, we're just going to go back to doing it the way we did. And everybody's going to be happy, and we're going to skip down the street and sing songs and blah, 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 blah. Enjoy candy and ice cream and popsicles. It's going to be great. No, 
No, you know better than that. I feel like you know better than that anyway, but it's going to feel good for a minute. Here's what they're advising you to do. Wait. Wait it out. Hold back. Hold back. You don't, you, you want to be, hold back. Try not to comment too much. Pay attention to who's buying into it really fast and pay attention to who's holding back. Because if you hold back, you can kind of just hold back and just get a panoramic view and keep watching. Enjoy it for what you can. Definitely enjoy it for what you can. Completely, yes. But realize that some, this still ain't right. This still doesn't smell right. This still ain't good. Watch how other people are responding. Because you're going to notice that some people are still unhappy. Um, and it's kind of like when I say still unhappy, they weren't happy with the changes and they're still not happy that things are going backwards because like something isn't right. Hold back. So if you were doing less effort and getting away with it, stick with that. Stick with that. Because I feel like it's kind of like, oh, we're going to go back to the way it was. I feel like I want to put in some extra effort to get it back to the way it was so we can keep it there. Don't do that either. Stay at the same level. If you were doing 60% to get there, whatever these changes were, do the same. Do 60% to put it back. Keep it the same. Because I keep feeling like some of you are going to be like, oh, we're going to go back? Great. I want that. Let's get back there fast so we can keep it there. It makes sense why you'd want to. They're like, go slowly. Go slowly. Watch. Watch what's going on. Because something is messed up here. Something is messed up. Um, are we going to find out what it is by the time of this reading? There's new things. People, they're still going to change things. They're still going to change things because they feel like we're going back to square one to try to some, try something different. They might just do it slower. Yeah, they might just do it slower this next time. Wheel of Fortune comes in. King of Pentacles comes in. High Priestess or the Ultra Priestess kind of comes in, and the Seven of Pentacles. We're going to get back to the way it was, but then we're going to try some other things again. I feel like one of the reasons we don't want to move back too fast, we don't want to show that we can go back really fast. You know what I mean? So, like, if there's a normal process to do it, and say we take, it, it goes two months doing a new process, and we're like, oh, no, we got to put it back to the old process. We want to make sure it takes at least two months to get back to the way it was. Because we want these people to get the impression that, like, if it takes X amount of time to get there, it takes X amount of time to get back. We don't want to give them the, the idea that they can take two to three months and try something and we'll be back in five, ten days, or even a month, whatever. We don't want them to think they can just keep trying things and you can just, oh, we'll just put it back to where it was. All right, let's try something different. Oh, let's put it back. We didn't like that. Oh, let's try something different. We want them to get the impression that it takes just as long to go back to the way it was as it is to try something new. So that way they're a little bit more careful with trying these new things. They're going to keep trying these new things, but we don't want to go back to the start too quickly. We don't want them to get the impression that you can just keep going back to square one. It's just like another way I keep looking at it is like, you know, if you're resetting a computer, putting all these programs, seeing how many programs, this program, that program, then go, oh, let's just wipe it out. It takes an hour or two or however long it takes. I think it takes longer than that. Uh, and then we'll start putting new programs on again and we'll start from square one. And we get, oh, no, no. Like, we, we did it for like, maybe we did it for like a year or two. We put all these programs on. All right, let's go back to square one. It takes a day. Then we start doing it. We don't want them to give them that impression because they keep trying it. We want them to realize if it takes you a year to get everything on, we want you to take a year to get it all off. So that way if you get back to this, if they start trying to make these things happen again, they're a little bit more careful and a little bit more calculated before they do these things again. We want to move slowly. So if they want to go back to square one, make sure it takes just as long to get back to square one as it did to get away from it. Because um, they keep doing changes. They're going to keep doing changes. And I feel like this, this is a heads up about. This energy here in the environment, um, it's not very protected. But this somebody's having fun with this situation. And I feel like you should be able to figure out who it is. Um, the sun card and then the nine of fire reversed, which is kind of like just, it's kind of like a security guard that's walking away from the gate. Kind of like anybody can come in and go. Somebody should be there to check to make sure that only the right people get in or like a better, like a lot of schools nowadays have security at the front door. It's kind of like, you know, 
the security guard going, oh, I got some things I got to do. So I'll just prop the door open so anybody who needs to get in can get in, and I'll go do what I need to go do so that we don't have to get bothered with it. That's kind of how this feels. That's how this feels. Um, somebody's having fun. They seem to be getting away with it. Um, it's just weird. Uh, another version, maybe a more realistic version, I don't know if this is a real thing or not, but this is how it was told to me. Somebody in security, they're supposed to be watching the main door, have to go, has to go do some, something, so they just have, they have it like so they can access the camera on their phone, and then when somebody comes to the door, they have the person stand in the front and then just turn around, and then if they like what they look like, they're like, okay, and they could, they're able to open the door from their phone. I don't know if that's real, but that's the analogy that I keep getting. It's something like this where this person is not really doing the job the way they're supposed to, and they're getting away with it, and I don't know what they know that you don't know. So it's almost kind of like, it's almost like, yeah, but I can lock the next door if I have to, or, you know, wherever they're going, they only have access to so many things, so it's not that big of a deal, but maybe I don't realize that, something like that. This energy here, the wise woman of Wonderland, it, it gives kind of like an Alice in Wonderland feel to me. It really does. It's a little bit crazy. And then the chariot coming in that somebody's doing something that they shouldn't be doing is what I keep getting from that. That's not always the way that card comes in, but I keep getting like this is the antithesis of, of, of how you would do it. The process doesn't make sense. Um, that energy, well, what is, what is, what is Capricorn supposed to do with that energy? Keep an eye on it, but don't talk about it. Keep an eye on it, but don't talk about it. Be aware of it. Protect yourself from it. Just don't... I, I keep getting don't talk about it. That's its own situation. It seems to be running right along with this situation. I just keep getting don't talk about it. Just leave it to other people to deal with. Which seems strange to me. Is there anything else? I don't know. I'm not really satisfied with that answer. Is it going to stop? Is it ever going to stop? Um, this is a part of the game. This is a part of the game. So if, if somebody else is doing something, you're like, they're not doing that job right. That's not right. They're not doing that job right. Um... Don't call it out. It's part of the game. It's part of this game. There's something going on here. Um, it reminds me of like... It's like when somebody's looking for a volunteer to do a job and nobody wants to do it. And the first person that says, wait, that's not right. Well, how should it be done? Oh, this is how it should be done. Okay, great. You're doing it now. You know what I mean? I feel like it's something like that. Well, you know how to do it, Capricorn. Why shouldn't you do it? You just said you know how to do it better than them. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. You, you know how to do it. You just explained how it should go, and they're not doing it that way, so you should do that. You're going to do that job now. I feel like it's like that type of game. They're trying to suck somebody into that, that job. They're trying to switch people around. It, it, it sounds like a dirty way to do it. That's why they're saying don't talk about it. If this is, especially if this is a job situation, let the job worry about their own problems. Just protect yourself. Let them worry about their own problems. It doesn't make me comfortable because I feel like this is a really negative way to try to make things change, but be aware of it. This whole thing, this reading is interesting to me because I keep getting like, there's a lot going on here. There's changes happening either way. Um, there's a lot of fear mongering going on. They're just saying, hold back, take it slowly, work within your own boundaries, stay out of the spotlight and let it change around you. Don't talk about things you don't have to talk about. And then just, you know, weather the storm. When you get to the other side, things will be better for you. All right. I'm going to let this go here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.